First, the functions of hormones. I didn't know what the, hor the word hormone meant, so I thought it'd be interesting to look it up. It comes from the Greek impetus, <coughs> which means an impelling force, an impulse, or a stimulus. I thought that was pretty fitting. It's a chemical released by a cell or a gland in one part of the body that sends out messages that affect cells in other parts of the organism. So in other words, they're communication devices for every function in the body. You have to have hormones for your body to communicate and to perform specific functions. That's in general what a hormone does. So these are just some of the very generic uh, functions of hormones, some important functions that they do in the body. They're important for stimulating or inhibiting growth. Um, has everything to do with your mood and how you're feeling. Um, Induction or suppression of apoptosis, uh, cancer cell death. There's a lot of research going on with, with hormones and how it relates to uh, cancer. Immune system, regulation of metabolism, hunger cravings, and then, you know, this is kind of commonly what we think of when we think of hormones. Preparing the body for mating, for fighting, for fleeing, you know, fight or flight, running, adrenaline, all those types of things. Preparation of the body for a new phase of life, the reproductive cycle, when puberty hits, girls turning into women, men turning, or boys turning into men, uh, parenting, menopause, all those different things. So some of the main ones we're going to focus on tonight, we're really going to focus on progesterone and estrogen more than anything. Uh, these are all steroid-based hormones. What's important to understand here is that these steroid hormones cannot be produced in the body without cholesterol. And we have a war on cholesterol, which is complete ignorance. Um, when you take cholesterol medication, it stops the production of cholesterol in your body, which means you're going to have side effects to not being able to produce any of these hormones anymore, which the list is exhaustive of how many side effects there are to not producing these hormones properly. So that's the main reason I wanted to show you this. Like, I mean, these are the, the hormones we're going to be focusing on, but they're steroid-based hormones. So, since we're not going to talk about this in detail, I just want to make a couple points. DHEA. You can buy DHEA at a health food store. I don't sell it. The reason I don't sell it is because it's produced naturally in the adrenal glands. If you take a supplement form of it, a lot of people have negative side effects to it, even in a natural form. Well, it's not natural, it's synthetic. Anytime you take a hormone from an outside source, it's synthetic. It can't be natural. You produce it naturally. So corticosteroids. This is a perfect example. What do people do when they have uh, a major inflammatory condition like a Crohn's or they have asthma or some of these conditions? They give them steroids, right? Well, your body produces steroids. They're called corticosteroids. They're produced in your adrenal glands. Well, what happens when your body's not functioning properly, you're not producing uh, steroids properly, then your body has these reactions and they pump you full of steroids which are anywhere from 10 to 100 times stronger than what your body naturally produces. It's what I call the sledgehammer approach or the grenade approach which we'll kind of talk about more later. But it hits your body so hard with a sledgehammer that of course it stops the reaction. But there's always a cost to it. If anybody's ever taken steroids, you know how it makes you feel. It's not good. Uh, because it's just very unnatural for the body to be pumped with that that many steroids and again they're synthetic they have to be because these are things that are naturally produced in the body but I just want to stress again cholesterol it's important we need it we've done classes on cholesterol the importance of cholesterol if you're taking a statin drug it's gonna affect your hormone production which is gonna affect 